I'm Tuya from Curious Craft Studio and welcome! <laughs> this is awkward. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this very simple macrame plant hanger. It's great for beginners as it's super simple to make. We are using only four knots, reverse lark's head or lark's head. Um, about dance a little first. Square knots here to give a little pop of color in the decoration. And then we have a gathering knot to tie it all up and some decorational overhead knots at the very bottom. <laughs> I used a Bobbini's five millimeter braided cord here. So if you're using the same cord, know that you cannot brush out the tail. It's gonna have to stay like this. Uh, braided cord you cannot brush out and uh, here I used a two and a half millimeter Lankava cord um, to give it a little bit of color and this is single strand if you use um, different cords or different thicknesses you will need to uh, uh, recalculate the lengths um, all the materials needed and the measurements are down below in the box, in the description box. You're also going to need a circle. This one is a wooden circle, five centimeters uh, wide or two inches more or less. You can use metal, wood, whatever you have. You'll need scissors, tape measure and something to hang it on to. I used an S-hook to attach it to a clothing rack. And uh, that's about it. But before we get started, um, have a look at my channel. I have other uh, macrame videos in there and uh, many more to come, many more where I will also be speaking. This is very difficult for me <laughs> to be in front of camera. Yeah, if you like it, subscribe, please put a little like um, and the little bell button if you want to be notified of any other videos that I have coming up. And also on my website, uh, curiouscraftstudio.com, there's other, um, other tutorials over there and a blog and other cool stuff. So um, let's get started. Are you ready? I am. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. All right. <laughs> oh my God. So first, cut out six cords this is the five millimeter braided uh, cord that i got from bobbini so cut out six cords of two meters we'll fold these in half more or less fold these in half like this and then you find the middle end the middle points what's it called and um, i have my s hook here that i've attached to a clothing rack you could use other things too um, like a how do you call it? A hook on the wall. Um, and then you'll need your wooden circle. And what we're going to do is these loops here, we're going to put them through the metal circle. And uh, we'll find this loop here. And we will just pull the ends of our cords through. That's it. That's how easy it is. Now, I really like this and I, I like it kind of messy looking too. But if you want to organize it, you of course can, you know, put, put them in the right places, maybe like this. Um, I like it looking messy too, but however you want. And you might prefer this side or this side. Honestly, it doesn't matter because later on, um, you'll see, we'll just do three different strands here at the bottom. So you can hang it however you'd like. I'm just going to hang it like this. And then we do the square knots. So before I really get started on making the square knots and showing you obviously from closer up how, how to get started, um, I'll just show you this. I'm, I brought a chair close to my workstation and um, we'll divide these, these six strand, strands here into three. So two each. I'm gonna grab the first two and it's, it's much easier to make macrame when you have the, um, the filler cord. So this is the cord that will be inside our square knots if it's tight. It's much easier to knot. So the way I make this tight is I squeeze it in between my, my knees. 
and then I'm going to be making square knots here. So uh, come a bit closer, can't see from that far. There we go. We have a little bit of a closer look of what's about to happen. So out of these six hanging cords, I'm just gonna grab first two of them and we will start to make our decorations with the square knots around these two. And after that, you'll just repeat the same thing with the other two pairs. So for now, I'm just gonna put those away so they're not in our way, they don't bother us, and we will just use this cord. So I'm pinning it in between my knees so it stays nice and straight. Then I'll take a tape measure and I'll measure around 40 centimeters underneath. So that's 40 centimeters underneath the reverse Lark's head knot that we just uh, did up there. And we're going to start making square knots here. Um, you should cut three, uh, four meter pieces of the accent cord. So this is 2.5 millimeters thick from Lankava. If you have something else, you can use that too. But remember, if it's a different size, then you need to kind of measure your cord um, for that size. Okay, so let's get started. It was around here. It's not really that precise where you start because you can also move your square knots later and I'll show you how. So take one of those four meter pieces of accent cord and fold it in half, find the loop and bring the loop to the back of your uh, filler or hanging cords like this. Left strand comes in front of our uh, filler cords and right one like this on top of the, the left strand. And then we take the right one through the back and then through this loop. There we go. So it looks like this. And we just tighten that. And that's just to start. This is not a square knot yet. And from here, we will always keep the same strand on top and the same one at the back. So it's this one. So we bring it again to the front like this. The back strand comes in front of that on the side and then goes to the back and through this loop. And we tighten it, it looks like this. There we go. One more. This one is the one that's on top. You can see that it's on top here. It goes on top. This one goes on top of that, but then to the back and through the loop. And like this, we start creating our, uh, our square knot row. Once more, you can always find uh, which, which, if you get lost, to find out which one is the one that should be on top, you can see that here on the side, it kind of goes underneath this, this little, I don't know what you call that, <laughs> little button. Uh, it goes underneath and then comes from behind it. Whereas this one, you can see that it kind of comes from somewhere. It can't be this one. So once more, this one on top, we create this like kind of four shape. That one goes to the back and then comes in through the loop. And you just keep on going like this. Once more. You keep on going like this until you are out of cord. If you don't want uh, the decor to be that long, then you can stop at any time. You can slide this up or down. Obviously, the longer it is, the harder it is to move, but you can still move it even then. But um, if you're using the measurements um, that I uh, wrote in the description, then you should start more or less around 40 centimeters after your, uh, your reverse Lark's head and the circle. And it should be the good length. Here we go, we have one that is ready. And uh, you can just leave the ends dangling like this. 
we're going to put them inside the gather knot at the very end. So um, I have about this much at the end. So this will all become the like the tassel at the very bottom. If you want it to be more or less, you can try moving your square knots up or down. It's not super easy, but it can be done. All you need to do is grab a hold of your, your cords either here or at the, at the top and just push. You see, it does go and then you just keep pushing it and you can slide it either up or down. I think I kind of liked it the way it was. So I'm just going to put them back, make it more or less smooth. And then I will start the next one on the next two take the next two and I will start and repeat it here and then on the last one see you at the end and here we go we have all three uh, strands done with um, with square knots and it's time to attach them together with a gathering knot here at the bottom as you can see I haven't cut any of these uh, these square knot um, ends, um, cord ends, and we're just going to put them all inside a gathering knot right here. So for this, I'd like you to cut, if you're using again, the same, same strand as I am, so it's 2.5 millimeter single strand, cut 1.5 meters, and we'll just take one end, and I'm just gonna actually wrap it like this with a with an overhand knot just to keep it in place the one of the ends make sure that your um your square knots all end in the same place like this and then with your working cord for the gathering knots we're going to make a little loop at the bottom like this make it long enough uh, definitely longer than what you want your uh, your knot to be so maybe my knot will be like three fingers so I'm going to leave my loop this long then I'm going to pin it to the top top of uh, of my knot with one hand and with the other one I'm just going to start looping this this cord end around all the cords and make sure you get the first row tight like that and everything is inside and then just keep looping it around the reason why i attach this cord in here with this um with this temporary knot is that now it's not in my way as i keep looping and you want to loop at least minimum five six times but you can loop as much as you want and you can twist it like this if that's easier just make sure you get it more or less the same tightness so that it'll look pretty if you're planning on putting a heavy plant in your plant hanger i really recommend making it quite tight quite a few times just to make sure that your plant doesn't fall on the ground. I think that's enough for me. It's about five, four or five centimeters, two inches. All right. And then you need to find your loop, the loop that you created in the beginning and put your looping cord through it. So put the, the cord that you gathered the knot with through this little loop. And then what we're going to do is we'll open this temporary knot that I made here. There. We just move it. And we'll pull this loop tight. And that's going to take, that, that's going to hide and lock this cord inside the knot like that take it more or less halfway so that it's locked inside and now we just take the scissors and we cut very close to the knot 
You can move the strands to cover it a bit. You cut all of these away, unless you want to leave them. I don't want these ones in here, so I'm just going to cut, cut all the, the accent color away. There we go, and then I'm going to bring the knot down a tiny bit to cover everything, and that's it. That is my pretty gathering knot. And once you've finished your gathering knots, you're left with your little tassel at the bottom of your, your plant hanger. Now you can leave it like this. As we said before, this is braided cord, so it cannot be uh, brushed out. And I prefer it that way. If you want to brush it out, then you need to use three ply or single strand cord. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a little knot on top of um, at the end of all of these. So like an overhand knot, but double. So we'll do it like this. We wrap the cord once around a finger and then twice like this. And then this uh, cord end is going to go through it. So you have a normal overhand knot, but really it's double. And then I'm just sliding it all the way to the very bottom. And at the end, I'm just going to cut, cut this, uh, this end away like that. And I'm going to do it on all of these. And there you go. Your plant hanger is ready for your pretty plants. If you like the video, please remember to subscribe, like and share it. And um, stay tuned for a few more funny moments of filming. Dance it out. My hair okay? It's too difficult. Putting bloopers in all of them, God help me. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Let's get making, nutting, whatever, dancing, fight.